okay so the given question is we have a rectangular plate ABCD and we have to find the moment of inertia of this plate about O right so the O is an axis O is an axis which is parallel to one of the diagonals BD it makes an intercept of X on AB right so we have to do that so moment of inertia about BD is nothing but 1 by 6 M L square B square by L square plus B square this is given to us now this BD axis it passes it passes through center of mass so this axis is passing through center of mass so we know moment of inertia of a body about one of an axis which passes through center of mass if we know that we can find we can find moment of inertia about any axis about any axis parallel to parallel to that through which which was passing through center of mass parallel to BD and that will be nothing but M moment of inertia about BD about BD plus mass into D square which is nothing but parallel axis theorem so we use this theorem when we know that moment of inertia of the body is known about one of an axis which passes through center of mass which this is essential this is important it has to pass from center of mass then we can find per, uh, the moment of inertia about any axis which is parallel to center of mass which is parallel to that axis then we you, we can apply if this part is not from center of mass this part the axis is, does not passes from center of mass we cannot apply that same parallel axis theorem so this, are, this is the required condition and it is being fulfilled here BD passes through center of mass because it is passing through P which is the center of mass so we can write we have to just find this distance all we have to do is find this distance this is our main uh, problem here right so we know that the length of AC the length of AC is nothing but under the root of L square plus B square so we can write that AP is nothing but under root of L square plus B square by 2 right so we know that this part is X okay we are given that this length is X and this is also given to us as theta right this is also given to us as theta if we want to draw a perpendicular if you want to draw a perpendicular on this part it's going to divide this this complete part into two triangles right two equal halves this is also this should also be theta then this is x it should divide this part will become x by 2 similarly this part will be again x by 2 and hence we can find this length right this is x by 2 so this length will be x by 2 secant theta so this length is x by 2 secant theta so we can say that the length of and this let this part let us call this as point E we can say that length of AE is nothing but x secant theta by 2 x secant theta by 2 or in other words we can find the length of EP the length of EP as under the root of L square plus B square by 2 minus x secant theta by 2 that is we subtract AE from AP AP minus AE which gives us EP this is AP minus AE so this is what we've done and now we can use the moment of inertia would be moment of inertia about given axis will be 1 by 6 M 
L square B square by L square plus B square plus mass into distance square. The distance is under root L square plus B square minus 2x secant theta by 2. So squaring that you get L square plus B square by 4 plus x square secant square theta by 4 into secant square theta. Let's write the value of secant square theta. Secant theta from this triangle we can see secant theta is the length of AC by length of CD L. So we can write it as L square plus B square divided by L square right this is secant square theta minus twice of under root of L square plus B square by 2 into x into secant theta again we can write secant theta as under the root of L square plus B square divided by divided by L here I have left a factor of 1 by 2 so please keep that in mind right we can write that so this expression will give us the value of the required moment of inertia so that will be 1 by 6 L square plus B square M L square B square plus M we can take L square plus B square common here L square plus B square we've taken it common and we are left with on the inside as 1 by 4 plus x square by L square minus x by L here again we have left a factor of 1 by 4 with x square by L square and a factor of 1 by 2 with x by L so please keep that in mind right so this will be the moment of this is going to be the moment of inertia this will be the moment of inertia of this rectangular plate answer